welcome back. So after the requirements elicitation, the analysis and negotiation, and finally the documentation, we're now moving to the last stage of the requirements analysis, which is validation. In order to cover this topic as a whole, we're first gonna look at requirements validation in general, then principles of requirement validation, and finally some validation techniques that will help you in your job as a requirements engineer. So let's have a look at requirements validation in general before we go into the details of the principles and the actual validation techniques. First of all, again, the question, why should you care? What's the point of validating requirements? So the validation of requirements is concerned with reviewing of the requirements and should uncover errors in requirements that have not been revealed yet. You do so by presenting the requirements to the stakeholders and identify deviation between the requirements and the actual wishes of your customers. And you also check the quality of the requirements. The decision is made if the quality is sufficient, is there a sufficient level of detail, is the quality good enough, and if it all is fine, it leads to the approval of all requirements by your customer, and otherwise you have to go back to the drawing board. And the validation of requirements, as well as like the whole requirements document, should be based on predefined criteria so that in the early stages of the requirements engineering process, you decide, okay, what does a suitable and good requirements document and good requirements look like? And then you can just check in the validation phase whether you achieved those goals and those quality requirements. And what are the quality aspects of requirements. We have three major goals for the validation that we'll look into now in a little bit more detail. First, content. Are all relevant requirements elicited and documented? Is the level of detail appropriate? This is like the general thing. We'll get into the details in a few slides. Then second uh, major goal, the documentation. Is the documentation according to the predefined guidelines and specifications? And third, agreement. Do all stakeholders concur with the documented requirements. So those being the three general, and now we're looking at each in a little bit more detail. Uh, content is quite simple because there is really not that much more. It's really about the requirements themselves and that they are really complete. Documentation and agreement is a little bit more complex because there are more perspectives, more dimensions to this. So one part that you do for the the validation with respect to quality of the documentation is that you validate the documentation of the requirements and try to find flaws in the documentation or you check for flaws or the absence of flaws. You also make sure that there are no validation of documentation guideline, either project specific or organization specific, and that the, um, this, uh, the document is formed in an understandable way, that the structure makes sense and if you adhere to a template that the structure in your final document is like matches the actual template that you are building on top of. And finally, we have the quality aspects of agreement. So you want to get the buy-in of your stakeholders that they really agree with what's in the final documentation and that this is what they want. Um, maybe there was still like some kind of misunderstanding and some requirements are not as good and as precise as they wanted them or they slightly deviate from what they wanted. Or what could also happen and is not that uncommon is that the understanding of your stakeholder changed and developed over time. So what you elicited and then processed and then documented might not be 100% equal to what they now want. Because the more a stakeholder is working with you, the better their understanding of their own vision becomes and they learn more about the topic and that can lead to changes. So their understanding of their own topic or their own project from the elicitation phase to now might have changed and you need to, to get essentially a buy-in from your stakeholders that what you've documented is really what they want and if not, what needs to be changed. Uh, a lot of this is about agreeing up on everything that uh, you should build so that all relevant stakeholders buy in and give you a signature, yep, this is what we want. And if there's anything that needs to be changed, then get back to the drawing board, change it, and then you go again to validation. Is this now what you want? 
And also make sure that you have resolved all known conflicts with regards to the requirements, that there is nothing left that is, needs to be negotiated or to resolved. If there is something left, you're not yet done, back to the drawing board and then validation again.